Hey and welcome to this video for Wholesale to Be. In this video tutorial, we're going to show you some of the features of Wholesale to Be and show you how you can use this website to drop ship products from eBay. Okay, so let's go ahead and begin. If you look at the top of the website, you'll see that there's a login button. So if we go ahead and click on login here, now we can go ahead and log into our account. Go ahead and type in your username and password, and then put in your confirmation code and click on log me in. If you don't have an account already, you can click on the register button in the top right hand corner to create a free account. Okay, so here we're logged into the website, and you can see that at the top of the screen that there are a number of different plans available. On wholesale to b you have the option to choose the basic plan, eBay plan, Amazon plan, website plan, or the data feed plan. Today we're going to be covering the eBay plan. So we can go ahead and choose our plan by clicking on the box here. So we're going to go ahead and follow these step-by-step -step instructions to go ahead and add items to our eBay list. Okay, so we're going to choose on the Browse USA category here. And so here we have a number of different products that we can choose from. In this case, we'll just use for demonstration purposes cell phones. And we'll go ahead and look at cellular phones. So what I can do is I can go ahead and choose my product. So I'm going to go ahead and choose this phone here and I can click on this button that says push to eBay. You get a confirmation message here, go ahead and click on confirm. And you can see that the product has now been added to my eBay auction list. If I want I can click on access your auction list here and you can see that I now have an auction list consisting uh, of four different items here. And so now you can see that it takes me straight to my auction list which is at the very bottom of my screen here. And you'll notice that in my auction list I have the option to delete any of these items that I like I can also push each of these items to eBay or I can order them as well. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and go to step two. Let's go ahead and click on next. Step two is to actually push products to eBay. So here what we're going to do is go ahead and choose push to eBay. And then of course we're going to select our country. So we click on eBay USA in this case. Okay, and now it's just going to ask me to simply authorize this. So if I click on the authorize button. Now what I have to do is go ahead and enter my eBay ID. Alright, so go ahead and enter your eBay ID and click on Submit. Alright, after you submit that, it's going to redirect you to an eBay page here where we can go ahead and click on Sign In after we've filled in our email and password. So once we sign in, it's going to ask us to grant uh, access to this application. So we're going to go ahead and click on the I Agree button. And you can see that you'll get a confirmation here. We're going to go ahead and close the window now. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to actually fill out our information for our auction. So you can see that I have my product title here. We're going to select the type of auction we'd like to do. And we can go ahead and enter a starting price. Then we can select our shipping fee here. Okay, so in our ships to box here, we can detail different charges for shipping to other countries and things like that. So if we wanted to add an additional charge to ship to Canada or to Britain or something like that, we can put those details in this box here. Next, we can go ahead and enter a handling fee. We're also going to want to go ahead and choose our eBay category. Okay, and depending on the circumstance, you may need to enter your UPC code. We'll enter in a shipping policy and a return policy, whatever your return policy is that you'd like to have. And we also have some optional features here where we can add a subtitle, buy it now price, reserve price, and we can also select between these two different listing enhancements. Once we've made the changes that we like, we can click on the continue button. Okay, next we can select our payment method, the duration of our listing item condition, we can select the brand, model, uh, so this is just details about the product that you're listing here on eBay. And you're going to sort through all this and fill all this information in and click on continue. Alright, great, so now we have a preview of what we're going to be listing here on eBay. So we can scroll through this and make sure everything is to our liking. And then down here we can also look at our uh, item specifics that we've chosen and references to our item condition, so make sure everything is filled out properly and then we can go ahead and click on the continue button. Okay, so now we're moving on to step three. So in step three, we're gonna go ahead and monitor our auctions. So doing this, we're gonna keep an eye out on any questions that other bidders may have. Uh, and we can also use our watch list if we like to receive emails when an item comes in or out of stock. And finally, that brings us to step four. Now, once you submit your auction, you'll receive an auction ID directly from eBay. Once it's listed, all you have to do is wait until a buyer actually purchases the item. Now once your auction is sold, the buyer will pay you directly, most of the time with PayPal. Then you'll receive your payment, and you can go ahead and click on the Add to Cart button from the Product Detail page and follow the checkout steps. Don't forget to enter your buyer's shipping address. 
We'll handle the order with the supplier and send you the tracking code. So now we have finished the step-by-step -step process, only four steps to drop ship products here on wholesale2b.com. Now I can go ahead and click on the finish button and we've completed the process. So as you can see, it's really easy to drop ship products from eBay. You, if you haven't already, go ahead and check out the website. It's wholesale2b.com and you can go ahead and sign up for your free account today. That's it for this video tutorial. Thanks for watching and have a great day. And then finally, step four of this process is to actually ship the item. So after your auction has sold, the buyer will pay you. Once you receive the payment, you simply click on the Add to Cart button and the product detail page will... So after your auction is sold, the buyer will pay you directly. Uh, most of these eBay buyers will use PayPal. And after you receive your payment, you're simply going to click on the Add to Cart button. After this, all you have to do is follow the checkout steps. Don't forget to enter your buyer's shipping address. We'll handle the order with this. We will handle the. We'll handle the order with this. We'll. 
we will handle the order with the supplier and send you the tracking code ourselves. No. We'll personally handle the order with the supplier and send you the tracking code. Okay, so it's a really simple step-by-step -step process here, only four steps, and now we can click on Finish. 